What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another weekly market update brought to you by GameStarter. My name is Joan. I'm here to bring you all the latest in GameStarter news, but also news from around the broader crypto and NFT markets. After a market update, we got all the news regarding all the drama behind Elon, Twitter, Dogecoin, and more. Thoughts on decentralization and the importance of crypto in our society. A recap of the recent Dark Frontiers development update. And of course, some more juicy NFT news. If you like this kind of content, if you find this video valuable, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below what in particular you find interesting about this one. We appreciate it so much and you're directly helping GameStarter grow as as a community and build during this very long and boring bear market. But without further ado, let's hop right into a market update as things are holding pretty steady after last week's rally. Markets kept most of its gains from the last pump and we've more convincingly broken out of that downward trend and are now just ranging sideways. Now, by the time this video is out, meeting minutes for the most recent FOMC meeting might be released. So we could definitely see some volatility going into the next couple days. Most are expecting another 75 basis points rate hike. And while some think we might see lower, I don't think it's smart to bet against it at this point. It's always dangerous to be trading going into a big meeting like this but if anything you could always play the overreaction and potentially short pumps or buy dumps if you see an opportunity to do so please only do this if you're an experienced trader make sure to use stop loss and risk management and good luck placing your bets now that being said one of the leaders in the market these past couple days has been dogecoin which has soared over a hundred percent in the last week the reason doge has been doing so well is likely because people are speculating elon has some sort of plan for it in twitter's future now personally i've already locked in my profits as i've been buying between five and six Six cents while Doge was at its lows. And of course, now I'm wishing I bought more. And while I might buy a little bit here, I'm really looking to load up the bags if we drop lower and get back to that maybe five or six cent range. To me, there are other more undervalued coins with better looking charts that haven't pumped at this point that I'd rather pay more attention to, but only time will tell to see how much power this Doge rocket has. Now, speaking of Doge and Twitter, it really got me thinking about what Elon is trying to do with Twitter as a whole. And it almost feels like he's trying to bring a sort of decentralization to the platform. Elon has recently proposed charging a dollar month fee for Twitter blue, which would bring a level of verification to the user's account, remove certain paywalls, limit ads, and more. Integrating this plan would also bring some benefits to the platform as a whole, not the least of which is being able to incentivize and even pay creators on the platform. The idea here is that this would give access to ID verification to basically any user instead of only reserving it for more elite users like politicians and celebrities. In this way, it does sort of feel like a decentralization move, taking some of that power away from just the elite few and spreading it around and giving access to the many. It would hopefully remove a lot of bot accounts, decrease fraud, and help people find the information that they actually want to see. But there are definitely some heated debates going on on whether or not this is the right move. I personally think it could be a really cool opportunity for Twitter users as a whole. And I think if it's implemented correctly, it could have a huge positive effect on the space. I guess we'll have to see how it goes, but I'm definitely excited to see how things unfold. It also got me rethinking about why I love decentralization, crypto, blockchain, etc. And I figured I put together my list of reasons I think crypto is so important. Now, firstly, I think crypto expands access and sort of removes the gatekeepers and extra third parties that are involved in transactions or situations where they're just not needed, whether it be the ability to invest in things that were once more limited or reserved to certain people or have access to groups, memberships, etc. that may have been more exclusive. Blockchain is tearing down a lot of these barriers to entry and empowering people to take charge of their own actions and well-being. By removing these third parties like banks and centralized exchanges, we are also simplifying the process and enabling more peer-to-peer -peer interaction without the bureaucracy of extra third third party interactions. Done correctly, this can lead to more efficient and effective transactions, as well as provide opportunities that might not have been there before. And yes, while it is removing those gatekeepers, it's also sort of transferring that power from the elite few and giving more ability and power to the many, allowing for more say, more opportunity, more responsibility for people that want it. And thanks to blockchain technology, we also have more transparency through crypto as we are provided an open ledger of transactions and the opportunity for transparency has never been greater. And I'm sure there are countless other benefits and ways to use crypto and blockchain that we haven't even discovered or thought of yet that have the potential to completely change how we interact with the world, each other, and society. I personally think there is so much opportunity here and I'm so excited to be a part of this space in what I would consider its infancy, but also at such a crucial and exciting time. Next, I wanted to talk about Dark Frontiers and do a quick summary on the recent development update that was just released. The developers have been hard at work and there have been so many upgrades and so much progress made since the last playtest and pre-alpha launch. We definitely wanted to share with you what the team has been working on. Well, first 
course that we have several new areas that you're going to be able to fight in in Dark Frontiers, including the jungle and gore areas. The older areas have also received some love and updates, so you definitely notice some changes in them as well. There's also a whole new weather system implemented on the moon, and it's actually going to affect how you fight and play in the game, as it'll change stats, bonuses, etc. Each area is also going to have different resources that you're going to have the opportunity to collect and harvest with different tools for each resource. Whether it's crystals, gas, precious metals, etc., there'll be a whole bunch of different resources to interact with, with various use cases for each. We also have a ton of new enemies that have been introduced to the game, so there's going to be an immense diversity of NPCs that you're going to face throughout your gameplay. There's also been multiple quality of life upgrades, including a reworked outpost, a whole host of interactable objects like sliding doors, elevators, etc., and a highly anticipated party system where you're going to be able to link up with fellow players and explore the vast expanses of space together. Be sure to check out the other YouTube video that goes more in depth on the development update and definitely get excited because the team is going to deliver an amazing product at the end of all of this and a number of you are going to be able to get your hands on it sooner than you might think. And to wrap things up, a little bit of NFT news where a recently launched free mint collection turning heads and gaining major traction. The co-creators of the cartoon series Rick and Morty released a collection called Art Gobblers. Now the project is aiming to create a sort of decentralized art ecosystem using NFTs and complex tokenomics. Each of the NFTs in the collection is meant to function as its own art gallery. Art can be minted using the utility token Goo, which is earned by holding gobblers. It gets a little confusing, but essentially, holders can create pages within their NFTs and perform a host of actions, allowing the holders to basically curate their own digital collections. At this point, the collection has over 12 Ethereum floor price, and it's just been skyrocketing the past couple days. Definitely love to see the innovation in the NFT space, and certain projects still killing it even during this tough market. Well, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for listening in. I hope you got something out of this video. Once again, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, help us grow this community. And make sure to drop a comment down below. What's your favorite coin that you're accumulating during this bear market? And anyways, guys, have a great week. As always, my name is Joe from GameStarter, wishing you all the best in your blockchain endeavors. Peace.